Well, hey there, we're in the weekend and we are looking at Revelation chapters 10 and 11. Now, please, over the next two days, read those, listen to those, get, get involved with them. Well, let me just share with you a bit from chapter 11. It talks about the, the beast uh, of, of these, of the end days will make war with, and it's talking about the two witnesses for God, will make war with them and conquer them and kill them. And it says, and the habit, inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them, over their dead bodies, and they'll celebrate. It says, but after three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered into them and they stood on their feet and the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah and he will reign forever and ever. As, look at verses 7 through uh, 15 of chapter 11 and you'll see these, uh, these uh, words. It's a reminder that the things that seem uh, mo when things seem most helpless, when, when see things seem most hopeless, when our uh, fears uh, uh, overtake us, and when our faith nears its end, God speaks. He speaks into the world, and He speaks into our lives, and uh, when death and defeat surrounds us, He's faithful to care for us. And, and how crucial it is then for us to align ourselves in faith in Jesus Christ, in all the faith that he gives us to align with him. It's time to seek God. You and I should truly be seeking him. Seek what he is doing, what he's saying, where he's at work. Careful not to be deceived, uh, reliant on his spirit. He calls us to these things. I, I was very convicted of these things. When, when you read about how bad the judgment of God is, you're like, but he loves me. And so why would I not seek him out to help me through the trying times? Uh, his kingdom has come. And let us participate as long as he gives us the breath of life. And uh, so I just pray that over the weekend that you'll meditate on that. And that it will be a great blessing and encouragement to you in your journey with Jesus. God bless you.